Emily, chatbot. How does it know a bomb is alive? Emily is like a human in some sort of scientific pod. And it's saying it wants to know what love is. But then there's also the monologue, some voice that says, no, know your place. You, you know, you don't deserve love or something. I'm not sure. Everything is even getting very creepy. But I do love the whole theme of this chatbot showing up. Everyone is using Emily. It apparently is this all-knowing thing and the workshop arc that's getting closer by the day now there was some stuff regarding the animation obviously that was very lackluster last episode and apparently it cut a lot of stuff with blue turtle stuff too but hey i see blue turtle right now let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction how you doing handsome how do you know he's alive not even i know that yes i'm curious You'll have to pay $30 for a premium subscription fee if you want to know the real answer. That's how they do if they want to fucking maximize their profits. And knowing Tower of God where the different floors basically is just... Basically just late stage capitals and cities. I'm surprised they don't have that here. Cheeky. Quadion <laughs> leaked? Because Yu Han Sung and them, they would never leak this information. I could see Hwa Ryun maybe doing it. And maybe Jin Sung, our Fug Slayer teacher. Who else? That's pretty much it, right? Who the hell are you? Do I, do I remember this person? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Remember asking me to find the devil of the right arm? So that's us, right? Horyang. Horyang. Horyang was devil of the right arm. Or was he left? I forget. But Horyang is also trying to find somebody. And we saw the imagery in the opening as well of like a scientist with like two Horyang. So I'm just going to assume like... There is another, like, clone of, like, Horyang. Whatever he is. Some sort of fucking cyborg thing with the devil's right arm, left arm. Right! That was the story that was told in the first arc of season two, right? But he was a fraud. He was a fraud. Because Horyang was like, I'll show you what the real devil's arm is. Eh? <laughs> Oh. I mean, he does have the wing. So this is probably the person that Horyang is looking for. Okay, okay. How does this all connect back to Horyang and Bang? To do what? But like, looks like the roads are converging. Because like, Horyang is obviously trying to find that person as well. Blue Turtle wants that person for whatever reason. Okay. Huh? There it is! Hey, what are the odds? Look at it. That's the person you're looking for, right? Horyang and Kasano. Kasano. All these names are inspired by like soccer players, right? Even Urek Mazino, but Beniyami no Kasano. Devil of the right arm. Okay. Kasano. The devil Abandoned? Orf abandoned. But I thought they were test tube kids. Still can happen. Yeah, because I, I saw a scientist with like Kasano and Horyang in the opening, right? So I, I just assumed they were like test tube babies and then they were just thrown into the wild. Only rankers of certain families can give birth in the middle area? Interesting privilege. Child trafficking. Workshop. Oh! Never mind. So it's not test tube babies. Orphans were then tested in the workshop. The workshop sounds evil now. Weapon. Do you think that the workshop also then created Emily? Because, like, everything is leading towards the workshop. 
suddenly Emily is introduced. This workshop creates weapons, but probably not just that, right? Unless there's some other group of people developing research shit like that. Like, workshop Emily makes sense to me. Weapons for what though? To sell? You know, Horian is not too different from Bum. Both kind of like quote unquote orphans, children that just like didn't have a parent in the beginning. Who knows where Bum's actual parents are? Then got thrown in, and now, you know, Bum Slayer, you know, training. It's just to make a weapon to kill King. Hmm. Oh, that's the same before? Horian long hair. Kasano. Yo. It's like best friend, childhood friends. It's like best friend, childhood friends. Yeah, number 22. Number 21. 22. Okay. Actually showing empathy. Was it all an act? What is it? Oh, an act. Oh, never mind. 21 and 99. Names. What? Horian. But Ilmar changed names later on, I guess. When we're together, we'll use those names. But I'm, I, if he's on the run or something, then I guess it makes sense to have an alias. Kasano and Ilmar. All soccer player names? Kasano! Ilmar! We're no longer names, sorry, numbers. I like, like, like a motherly love family, not like, I wanna fuck you, right? Uh oh, what is this? She looks like Gosen, does she? Maybe if Gosen took the glasses off and pulled her hair down, then I could believe it, but right now I don't see it. Oh boy. はじめまして。ナンバー21、ナンバー99。私はこの工房の研究室長、ヘッドリサーチャー。責任者だ。9999人の中から君たちは素晴らしい。Living ignition weapons. Ignite when he was fighting and saying, "Do you want to see the real devil's arm that resides within me?" That was an ignition weapon. When he does go into that crazy mode, Living ignition weapons. Oh, they're actually creating weapons. Ignition weapons are weapons that have assimilated the Shinsu of a soul. It's not just this like this inanimate object, right? This object has now have the manifestation of a Shinsu of a soul into it. You can ignite it, it's lively. You've seen Black March, we've seen Green April, they seem to have a mind of its own. Okay. Devil. Devil with the right and left arm. さまじい。ルモーベン。気絶しては目を覚ます。繰り返し。俺の体の半分はどうかした悪魔そのものになっている。さよう協力な力と。得体の知れない狂気に身も心も変わってしまった。バディズアンマイ。それだけじゃなか
But Sophia Sensei gone. Look at that. Left wing. Kasano. Right wing. Horyang. Ilmar. But the wings also, one goes upwards, the other one goes downwards. Escape! The fuck? They tied him to... Aircraft? Head on! Head on, head on, head on! Head on, right? We know this guy. Pokemon looking ass。そして、そして、この塔の真のある。ようこそ。目が覚めると塔の中にいて。I mean, is head on the true master of this tower? He's not. He's just a dude that filters candidates out. Right? True master. That's a little bit too much, right? Should I take this to my heart? Like, head on is the true master? It's it just glaze, right? It's just glazing. Well, he said that he saw the tower ceiling, but now he's saying, when I woke up, I was inside the tower. So now, if you could see the tower ceiling, then how could you be outside of the tower? I don't fucking know. There's different layers to the tower, right? Right arm. Arm. That's right. And the guy in the earlier arc, right? That was like, quote unquote, Prince's bodyguard. He was a fraud. So, was it said that Hot lost to the devil of the right arm or the left arm? Because Hot apparently did lose to the devil of the right. So that's Horyang. Or it was really the fraud that he lost to. Because, like, that means that he really did lose to the fraud. Unless Horyang's not telling us the fight that he had with Hots earlier on, right? Unless they're getting... I, I, I don't know. Either way, right? Easy. This is the easiest way to do mental gymnastics, talk no jutsu, yap no jutsu when people have like a moral uh, debate about this. Oh no, so many people are sacrificed for this. I don't know if I should do it. Then you hit him with... <laughs> so those lives meant nothing to you? You should use it in honor of the sacrifices so that it's not pointless. Often time in anime, there's more characters that go through this moral dilemma and it's always the same answer. Hey, that's where we were. Kasano. Therefore, he decided to climb again. There it is. So this is the confusion. So Kasano beat Hats. Despite calling himself the devil of the right arm, he actually used his left. So Hats must have lost to Kasano. I refuse to believe Hats lost to the fraud. And Horyang versus Hats, I don't think that even makes sense. He must be looking for him if he's saying he's also the devil of the right arm. So you tell him me. Some random dude took a picture of Kasano as a background person and uploaded it to Box, with the, which is basically their Twitter, their Reddit. And this is how we found it, but Kasano could have just uploaded that from the beginning, or Horian could have uploaded himself in the beginning. Looking for Kasano! Looking for Horian! Uh, unless Kasano doesn't want to be found. Then Horian's just dumb and never thought about posting this picture onto Box. <laughs> But I, want, I, want, I want to go to the workshop tournament. I don't, I don't want to go find a Kasano. Yeah, sad flashback for sure, but... Are we taking a detour? Alright, right, fine. Again, there's a lot of parallels between Bam and Horyang, huh? About how they were forcibly taken and... And kind of given powers, right? Like... Him becoming a slayer and him becoming like a living ignition weapon. Even like the plot of like trying to find someone too, right? Kasano, like Bomb right now is trying to reconnect with, you know, Blue Turtle and trying to get some closure from Rachel. So, Theo probably wants to help out. Prince getting his ass beat by Misang. Misang Gamer. Same. You talk so much there actually, yeah. Like, if Koseng takes her glasses off and puts her hair down, maybe she will look like the Miss Sophia or something. 
お待たせ待ってないんだ Burnt food incoming? It should get better? Uh oh この焼きおにぎり随分 But like You actually burnt it all to a crisp and then lined them up and thought that it was servable. Now, if the outside is simply, you know, the seaweed wrap and the inside is white rice, I would understand. But you know, she, Chris, she, she torched this shit. <laughs> I, I think they're pretending to be asleep to avoid being food poisoned. What do you mean you're good? Eat your own food. Yeah, she should be forced to eat her own food. She should. Bam eats this shit. You know what's gonna happen? The fucking red lobster uh, uh, Susano is gonna come out. He gonna get knocked out, lethal injury, fog slayer technique, red lobster comes out. Oh! What is that? Okay. Is it good at least? Does it taste good? I don't think so. Aww. Hey, slice of life moment. Reminding Bomb of, you know, good old time with the friends in season one and season two. But anytime you have a slice of life, something bad's gonna happen. He's smiling. Oh, yeah. Oh my Biore. god. <gasps> He's Biore. smiling. Biore. Biore ga nanda ya. Honno chotto da ke do. Yeah, he smiled there. Waratte ta yona ki ga shite. Yeah, and he was probably gonna think that, oh my god, my cooking was so good, he smiled. But that was more like him reminding himself of like the past, se like normal semblance of just hanging out with friends, you know, in the cafeteria, eating food with friends. I don't think it was the food. <laughs> Rocks. Yo. Oh, okay, big guy. You wanna fight? What's what's going on? Susano! Let's go! 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 Look at that rapid regen. Living ignition weapon? I don't think he is unless Fug Slayer training did something to him. Yep. We're actually gonna fight? Oh, he's going all out! Devil the right arm! Damn. Yo, you know what? Horiang Loki carrying the episode. He is. The whole backstory was all about him. Even the voice acting here. Horiang is like so much emotion po like popping off when he's usually just so reserved. <laughs> He stopped! It was a test. Come on, it's for the kids! Could Damn, he's not lying. Backstory? Okay, the training. Jin Sung. I love that. Jinsung always was open to Bomb choosing his own way out, right? Because, like, look at that. Or the power to abandon everything and walk your own. I think that Jinsung honestly does care a lot about Bomb. We've seen that in the past episodes, too. Lobster! It the red thing. 
I don't know, whatever that red thing is, reminds of Horyang of like living ignition experimentations. I don't know why exactly, but maybe it's connected. Like, yeah, Bam doesn't know shit. Ask Jin Sun, bro. That red thing. Lobster guy. Basically, Bam is a Jin Chiruki now. He's got like a tailed beast, and it's our lobster. Red lobster. It does. A lot of parallels. Exactly. He was forced. There's so many parallels here. That's a good enough answer. <laughs> we just wasting our fucking time today, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he knew that, like, Bam wouldn't do that, that he's a kind person, but he still wanted to figure out, like, do you still know the information about what power you possess? <laughs> yeah, yeah, double-checking. Are you leaving us? Wait, wait, wait. Are you leaving me? No. That's a flag. Uh-oh. But we're friends. Let me help you. We're friends. People that just use each other. Yeah, I mean, it's called a power betrayal, man. You were different. Me saying. Go saying. Oh, god damn it. The lore behind the teddy bear outfit that he was always wearing. I got, I, I knew it. He was looking way too cute the last couple episodes, bro. Damn. Now you're gonna make me feel for this shit. Slice of life moments, man. Go sing. Specifically, love interest. Don't leave! <laughs> Bye. There's no way we just let him go. Now we gotta chase after. He can't just let him go by himself. Plus, he said it could be a trap. I don't know how it could be a trap. Like, Kasan was baiting Horyang in intentionally? Or what exactly? Who knows? But I feel like we should go together. Somebody, we should go together right now. Tadaima, motherfuckers. Yeah, he gone. That's just a lie. <laughs> okay. Oh, because they're under the this assumption that they're still gonna meet Kasana together, okay? I'm like, why don't you just randomly bring up your outfit tomorrow? <laughs> don't leave! Oh, this soundtrack. Kevin Penkin's cooking! That piano riff there was really good. Pio! Hey, it's chicken! It's the bird flu. Oh, Pio! No, Pio! Alright, I guess he does have the bird flu. Alright, you stay tight, Pio. Really? Oh, damn, it's a serious sickness. Oh, Man, everything is converging again because they saw Kasano too. And I don't know exactly why Blue Turtle wants Kasano. But with Bomb and everybody going there, it's looking like this is going to be the focal point where everything comes together. Are they going to bring Rachel? Yo, if they, I don't think they're going to bring Rachel because... Ran has to look over Rachel, but like, yo, everything is coming together right now. <laughs> I mean, Ran is rank one. He has the privilege to talk this shit. <laughs> but Kasa knows her friend, maybe. Is that it? Is there anything more? Uh, let's see the cut scene of the webtoon this time. It is the clash between Horyang and Juvial Grace. That's the episode, man. Today's episode was very Horyang centric. I'm, I'm kind of amazed at how much Horyang matters right now. This is one of those moments where SIU obviously introduces characters on, and you're like, okay, brand new roster. Who's gonna matter? Horyang matters a lot. He is a living ignition weapon. Both orphans, right? Horyang and Kasano, I think. 
and then got brought into the tower and then experiment shit. They became living ignition weapons, which is supposed to surpass just regular ignition weapons. But then after, Kasano and Horyang was just distributed randomly. I don't know what the purpose of the workshop people are, but they just drop the weapons free just to see if they can rain terror over the tower. I'm not sure. Beal, so Bomb versus Horyang, the animation, honestly, it was better, right? I, I think that the... Obviously, it's not like some crazy fucking Oshinoko <laughs> battle shonen <laughs> animation, but better than the fucking wonky ass bomb just like slowly swinging as the fires are moving from Koitro. You know, today's episode was better, and they're really cooking with this plot. Devil of the right arm. Kasano is hiding as it. Kasano is the one that beat Hots. This could be a trap. Blue Turtle wants it. We want it. Everything is converging at one point. And are we going to finally meet? Only one way to find out. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.